What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics, and up next, I have an incredible unboxing here. I am really excited for these. One, maybe two keeper books in here. One that I would 100% call a grail book. I am really excited about this one. Let's check out these books. Right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So both of these boxes came from the same seller, picked them up in the same sale. This is from Marveled Comics on Instagram. He was selling with the host newsstand comic collector. So there's some awesome books in here. One of them is raw. Three of them are graded. Like I said, two are likely keeper books one is definitely a keeper book and is just like i said a massive grail but before we get into this let's talk about the sponsor of this video fanalytics if you're a follower of my youtube and instagram channels you know that having accurate and comprehensive data to make my comic buying selling and investing decisions is extremely important to me Fanalytics has exciting plans for the future to provide the most accurate and up-to-date sales data as well as predictive models to help collectors make the best decisions with their hard-earned money. Keep an eye on my YouTube and Instagram channels for more announcements and dedicated content in the future. So make sure to subscribe to their Instagram for future announcements and click the link in their profile to register for beta access. The link to their Instagram is in the description of this video. All right, so we are back now like I said, there are two boxes here. They both came uh, from the same one. He just shipped them separately because like I said, there's some pretty expensive books in here. So he didn't want to cram them all into, you know, one box. Now, I don't know exactly uh, what is in uh, each one because uh, there's just, they're split between the two. So I'm going to start with the bigger box because I'm guessing I know at least one of the books that's in there, um, but I don't know uh, what the other one is. So we'll open this one. Uh, this was basically Jordy, who is the, uh, the seller Marveled Comics. Uh, he picked up, seems like a pretty incredible collection recently, and he was selling uh, it on Instagram. And he has, uh, uh, he, he did another follow-up sale for it. And I, I'm guessing he might have more sales as well uh, for the books that are in here. And so, yeah, let's see. So there's yeah, are there two books in here, I can't tell yet. Uh, definitely one of the the bigger books. So I'll say it's like in a magazine. One of them is in a magazine size slab, and so I figured that was at least in here. I want to be careful opening all this because, uh, especially with the raw book, because the raw book uh, is definitely going to be graded. Okay, and the raw one's in here. I don't know. I might save that one for the end. That's the big one. I, I might I I might just set that one aside anyway, um, and just save that for the end because. Man, <laughs> that is a that is a, a big book that I am really, really excited about picking up. But uh, give me a second and get this tape off, and then we'll talk about at least one of these books, maybe both of them. A few moments later. All right, so we're back. We're just going to talk about this one here, then we'll open the other box. And I haven't even actually taken the other book out of the cardboard yet, because I want to do that reveal basically on camera, uh, So, because I'm, I'm really excited about that one. But... First book here, also not a small key by any stretch. This is Marvel Preview number seven. If you're not familiar with this book, the Satana cover uh, is actually the first appearance of Rocket Raccoon. I believe he's called Rocky Raccoon in this one. But this is an extremely difficult grade for this book. This book is very, very hard to get in the nine, six, nine, eight range. It's just this really dark cover shows everything and is just there's not many copies that are up in this grade so got the opportunity to uh, to pick this one up in a you know in a nine six real happy about that i might send it in to get in the new um cgc uh the new cgc slabs uh, just their, their new magazine size slabs because those ones seem so much nicer but i don't know i don't know if I'll, I'll take the time to do that or not but but yeah marvel preview number seven first appearance of rocket raccoon and a nine six is crazy high grade for this book so that's the first one here. So that means I'm going to open up this box next because I, I really just, I want to save that other one for the end uh, because that, man, it is a, it's a, it is a big book. Um, so this box should have, 
Uh, his collection was a lot of Batman books. And so this box actually has two Batman books in it. And one of them uh, is almost certainly going to be a keeper. And I might, I don't know, I, I might actually, we'll see when I, when I look at it, uh, try a resubmission on it. Because what he said was he said all the Batman books that were part of this collection were not pressed and cleaned first before they were sent in for grading. They were just sent directly in and the grades they got are the grades they got. And so, you know, it's, it's possible that this one, is, one of these especially, is really worth the, uh, the resubmission attempt. So, you know, a lot of bubble wrap in here, you know, definitely uh, keeping these books safe. And I'm gonna cut through all this, you know, it's in all these, <laughs> these things too. I'm gonna cut through all this tape and then we'll, we'll uh, talk about these books. And like I said, we'll get to that other one. 2,000 years later. All right, so we've got these two Batman books out. First one here is Batman number 38. I believe this is the second Penguin cover. The first Penguin cover is in Detective Comics when he's riding the ostrich. Uh, this one, I think is a little, it's not as campy. You know, that's my, my problem with the first Penguin cover, that ostrich cover, it's a real campy cover. Uh, but this one, you've got him, you know, with one of his like weapon umbrellas, like you, he's known for this time a flamethrower, you know, battling Batman and Robin on the cover. So pretty cool cover. And it's a 5.5 with white pages as well. So golden age, 1946 to 47. See on the uh, little date up here, you know, white pages copy. So pretty cool there. Early Penguin cover and uh, yeah, it's an awesome book. So. That's the, uh, that's the first one. Second one, this is the one that uh, will likely be on my keeper list. I took a close look at it. I don't think it's worth going for a resubmission attempt. You can definitely see that it has pressable defects on it, but uh, I, I feel like the risk of possibly detaching the cover, something like that is too high for this one. So I just, I don't think it's worth it, but it is a very nice presenting copy. And this is Batman number 16. Now, this is a major Batman key. This is the first appearance of Alfred. So uh, he's not on the cover. He shows up a couple issues later, uh, but first appearance of Alfred, and it's another one of these spotlight covers. Uh, that first spotlight cover for Batman is Batman number nine, which is one of my favorite covers from the, the Batman run. And this is another spotlight cover. So a really cool cover. A 5.0 is a very nice grade for this book. And here, I'll show you what I mean by like, you can see that it's got these, uh, let's go get them. it's got these pressable defects, especially along the spine. Uh, you can see those there, but there are a couple things where I'm just like, I don't know if it would be worth it. And one of them is that there's this piece down here that it's still attached. You can see the paper between it, but it looks like it's, you know, pretty close. It's like hanging on by a thread there. And then you've got at the staples, they're right on the spine, uh, but let's see. This one here, like down here, I just, it makes me nervous. I would be too nervous to actually get this book pressed that the potential for detachment, and then you really have a high risk of lowering the grade. This was a very expensive book. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to risk lowering the grade of this book. A 5.0 is a very nice copy. And this is also a very, very nice presenting 5.0. It's got types of flaws that like down here, this one here, and then a little piece out right here that you know they're gonna bring that grade down but otherwise like i mean back cover looks really nice front cover i mean really really clean no major creases you've got like kind of this like little scuff right here on the cover but otherwise a very very nice presenting copy of this huge batman key origin and first appearance of alfred also has a joker appearance in there you can see up at the top but yeah this one very likely uh, going to be a, a keeper book for me, at least for a little while. We'll see. You never know. Never know when I'll let something go. But this other one here. Now, you can see I've, I started taking the tape off, but I decided not to go all the way because I figured I would, I would take the final piece off while I'm on camera, while it's, you know, kind of like live. Just so, you know, you see my reaction from this book. Now, this one, I mean... I had so I you know there's always people that are going to criticize when you call something a grail to say you know it's like oh you know it's that's not a grail and it's all relative to the person but I mean you don't think this is a grail I don't know <laughs> I don't I don't know what I can buy really uh, other than maybe like a, a like a Tech 27 or something like that to uh, to get there but all right let's see here okay there's more there's more tape on it 
All right, I, just, I need to be real careful getting this one out because I don't want to risk any damage. So now it's in, you know, it's inside this also. So the, it's got these little tabs. So I'm gonna pull these and I just want to be really careful with this one. I don't want to risk damaging the book in any way. All right, so there it is. Let's see, Let me get all these little tape tabs off. So yeah, all right. Okay, so we got it out. Whew. Okay, yeah, this is a this is a nice presenting coffee. This is a big book. This is Captain America number five. So a couple big things with this one. This is, you know, you've got the Red Skull Wheel of Death cover, which is really cool. You've got the, you know, the whole Nazi swastika thing on the cover, but also just like having the, an early Red Skull depiction on the cover uh, is, is awesome. His, I think his first cover is Captain America 3. And so I think this would be his second cover. I'm not certain on that. Don't hold me to that. But I think this would be like, you know, it's, and it's kind of like that Venom uh, in Amazing Spider-Man. What is it? Like 315 where he's in the little corner. So it's not a full Red Skull, but it's definitely Red Skull on there. Uh, but then the other thing, the big thing with this is that this is the first Stanley story. So the first Stanley work is Captain America Comics number three. That's, uh, he, he had some text that he had, he had done in that one. This is the first like full Stanley story ever. And it's in this book, Captain America number five. This is a very nice presenting copy. It is fully attached, all of that. The main flaw is down here. And this is why I need to be, I wanna be careful with it. There is a split down here that is, he had said it was two inches, but I would say it's actually inch and a half, maybe inch and a half, something like that. I can't tell if the bottom staple is attached. I think it's supposed to be top staples definitely attached, but he had it as a three, five to a four. And so I, I think that's, that's very reasonable with the flaws that I see. I am not gonna take this book out on camera. I need to be real careful when I handle this one. Um, but you know, it's got, it's got some little things like some little indentations here and all of that. I am getting this book graded, uh, definitely. This will 100% be a walkthrough and it's gonna be a pretty expensive walkthrough to get graded. And I am definitely gonna be putting a note on here about the tear on the bottom. I do not want to see this book come back with any tearing bigger than what it is right now. I, I mean, it's one of those things where I don't even know if I wanna risk getting it pressed. Um, I know there are pressable defects on here. I can see them. You know, you can, if I go along here, like you can see those defects on the cover. But the question is, would it get a higher grade if those were pressed out? Or is that split on the bottom gonna be like the real limiting factor? And then the risk of getting it pressed, uh, you know, is, you know, makes it even worse. You know, that that's one of those, like it's a big decision with a book like this. Cause this is, this is a very expensive <laughs> book and you know pressing could lead to potentially a higher grade or it could also damage the book and then you're you know then you're in ugh, it would just be it would suck it would be terrible um but yeah there are that's the thing there are there are definitely pressable defects like kind of like all along the cover you can see there's there's one kind of near the spine here Let's see if i can get it to show up it's tough in the miler but one near the spine there and then a couple along the front of the cover there uh, that are just like, I don't know, a couple inches long, kind of like indentations on the cover. So there's the room for improvement, but man, just the risk. I don't know, but wow, that is an incredible cover, incredible presenting copy of this book too, and a major key. I mean, one of the first cover or one of the early cover appearances of the Red Skull, World War II cover, early World War II cover, and most importantly, the first full like comic book story by Stan Lee, which is a huge deal, obviously, because I mean this is this is early 40s. You know, he was writing these things for years and years. I mean, this is really where it started. And uh, you know, you've got Captain America three. Not taking anything away from Captain America three. That is his first work, uh, but first full story. Uh, so, whew, that's awesome. 
I'm really excited about this one and it just, man, it looks so nice. I mean, I know it's in Mylar. Mylar always makes things look nicer, but it really does, it really does look very, very nice. Um, I'm just, yeah, obviously I'm, I'm nervous about the, the splitting on the bottom because I've, I've sent books to CGC before that had a split like this, actually smaller than this. It was probably like, maybe like that. And it came back with a split like this. And, ugh, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know how I, I, I would handle that. Um, that would be a very unpleasant unboxing uh, video for me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Captain America Comics number five. Huge key, huge grail, tough book. And uh, yeah, really excited about this one. So those are all the books. I mean, two pretty big ones. We've got Captain America number five, and then uh, this uh, Batman number 16, first appearance of Alfred, also a major, major golden age key. So hope you enjoyed this video. Saw some really cool stuff because I mean, this, this might be the coolest thing. Like I've opened some cool books, you know, but this is, this is up there. <laughs> this, this is one of the coolest books I've ever opened. So, uh, very excited about this one. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to go check out the sponsor of this video, Fanalytics. I'll have the details in the uh, description of this video and how you can find them. And then we've got more videos over here. If you'd like to watch some of my other videos, subscription button is right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.